Uh, the power of deliverers that I mentioned is really in what is referred to as iBots. Uh, an iBot is defined to, def to lay out what is the prioritization of a particular query, for example. Uh, are there conditions on which you want to run this query? Maybe there's an alert in the system that when a certain um, data, maybe a dollar amount reaches a certain threshold, a particular query will run. Um, how do you want to deliver the information? Um, is it going to be on a regularly scheduled basis? Is it going to be on a, on a as triggered only? Who are the recipients? And what is the content that they are going to receive? Um, and what are the destinations? So that one recipient may get the information via email. Another inf uh, recipient may just have it come up on their dashboard. And another one may have it uh, sent to their iPhone. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Oracle does package OBIE in a number of formats, uh, depending on what customer requirements might be. Uh, and good marketing says that you uh, allow your customers to choose different choices on how how much of the footprint you want, and uh, of course how much uh, it might cost. Uh, the business intelligence SE is really a collection of some of the uh, what I would call legacy tools. Discover primarily and Oracle reports along with a couple of other um, adjuncts to those. Uh, it's not really OBIE per se. The OBIE SE1 is a uh, condensed version of OBIE that includes the basic BI server, answers, BI publisher, dashboards, and the overall server administration. You'll notice it does not include the delivers functionality or disconnected analytics. Um, it basically would be for those organizations who really are only one or primarily one location, do not have a dis uh, distributed audience for a lot of the information. Um, the most complete uh, package available, and I believe there are other flavors of these as well, but the most complete is called the OBIE Plus. Um, this has all of the OBIE components as well as as you can see, several of the Hyperion uh, reporting uh, components as well. Um, any PeopleSoft customers in the audience may be familiar with the SQR tool. That it was, uh, for years, PeopleSoft's primary reporting tool, um, but it really wasn't owned by PeopleSoft. Um, but you get that with the Hyperion tools that are in OBIE+. Plus. Uh, this is a depiction of the BI applications that I mentioned earlier, uh, sort of the, an overview of the architecture. Uh, again, OBIEE is really in the middle with all of the various functionality and capabilities that it has. Uh, the BI applications represent uh, pre-built, pre-delivered content from uh, the various uh, suites within the EBS suite. So there are dashboards and reports that are pre-built for sales, for marketing, supply chain, financials, etc. And each one of these or all of them can be purchased as add-ons to the OBIE uh, foundation itself. Uh, this tongue-in-cheek is how OBIE works. Uh, again, the, the font doesn't lend itself to easy reading here. But uh, fundamentally, if you look at the bolded outline boxes, on the right hand side there's Oracle BI Server which is the primary data engine if you will. Um, in the center there's the presentation services which is uh, basically takes that data and offers it up to the various tools and components that need the data. And then the on the left hand side there's Oracle BI Scheduler which handles all of the scheduled functions uh, running reports, running queries, running distribution activities. Um, the rest of the, the graph here really is intended to show all of the sort of the peripheral, per, excuse me, the peripheral linkages and uh, interfaces to other, other functionality. Uh, considerations when you're looking at OBIE, if you're looking at trying to uh, buy it, considering buying it, uh, advantages, uh, definitely ease of use. It is a very flexible tool. Um, but it's also a very powerful tool, and it's competitive with the very best of breed. Um, it is um, not just a, 
a toy for end users to play with. It has all of the features and capabilities to build almost any kind of a BI uh, solution, um, regardless of what the data sources are and what the overall uh, configuration of, of the enterprise might be. Uh, it can work with any data sources and uh, ultimately it does represent Oracle's go forward BI strategy uh, for all of their products. Uh, downside, it, does, it is different than other Oracle products in its technical underpinnings. Therefore, it will take some uh, new technical support uh, compared, but that's almost inevitable these days as Oracle has been moving to more and more open architecture uh, type functionality. Um, so there will be some learning curve there uh, to get the support and maintenance capability established within your organization. In addition, um, obviously nothing is free. Uh, the OBIE tool by itself is not uh, tremendously expensive. Uh, th there is obviously license cost involved. The BI applications, the add-ons, uh, represent really a much, much bigger investment uh, for organizations that want to take advantage of that. But if you are basically just considering uh, the fundamental, the foundation as, as it's now referred to, of OBIE, that is a, generally for most organizations that is a, an affordable uh, price tag. This slide represents uh, product comparisons across Oracle's various BI product offerings. Um, you, if you download this presentation, you can study this uh, matrix in, in more detail, but it compares Discover, uh, Daily Business Intelligence, OBIE, etc., in terms of how easy are they to use, um, how directly can you create new KPIs, key performance indicators, and reports with them? Um, how difficult is it, or can they even be used to create dashboards? Um, how well do they integrate with the EBS suite? And how well do they integrate with other types of applications? <coughs>